Hey guys, Blake and Jeff here. He's Blake, I'm Jeff. And we are back with another new anime series. Another new? Yeah, we've got several new ones on our channel right now. We sure do. And uh, you should go check them out. But first you should stay and watch this one. Yeah. This is obviously Attack on Titan, um, which is a new series for both of us. Neither of us have seen the series. Uh, it seems to be very popular, though. Very highly acclaimed. Yeah, a, lot, a lot of people recommended this yeah. to me over the, the last few years. Uh, and I, you know, recently got into anime, so mm -hmm. it, it was one that I definitely needed to check out. For me, just a weird, glaring omission. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe you never really watched this. I was too busy watching... Just keep going. <laughs> Jesus. I was about to say hentai. Keep going. Oh, God. <laughs> Episode 1, Season 1. Okay. Uh, to you in 2,000 years, the fall of Shiganshina Part 1. Love it. Yeah. That's a great title. That's a long title. Yeah. Uh, and it it implies there are multiple parts <laughs> just to this. <laughs> just to the opening. Just to the opening of the series. So yeah. I'm excited. Make sure you subscribe. Ding that bell so you get notified when we have new episodes that drop. Um, leave a like and a comment on all of our videos. Let us know what you thought of this episode what you think of the series. No spoilers, please. If you want to leave a comment, let us know another series, a TV show, and a movie, something else you recommend that we react to. Mm -hmm. um, do that. Or you can uh, actually tweet at us, at Blake and Jeff. Yeah. Um, and with that, let's begin. Let's do it. At that terrible moment, in our hearts, there's steam coming out of you. Home was a pen. Humanity, cattle. Oh, the truth, people! It's hey. all us! Nice. Either we secure this ground as mankind's all first. Right, I know what it is. Next time I'm gonna wear my green cape. That'd be pretty cool. All squadrons, engage omnidirectional mobility gear! Omnidirectional mobility gear? Oh, huh? Hit it from every angle! Oh, this For my brothers! For humanity! Based on everything I've seen so far, <laughs> I am beginning to think this is not a happy-go-lucky kind of show. Yeah, no, I don't think so. Aaron, have, have you been crying? Yeah. These walls are a bulwark gifted by God. Riven rock, stone, water. No, my brother. I think God builds walls. They are bastions of faith. The will of heaven manifest. I'm pretty sure you guys built the walls. So wait, and if Aaron was crying, write that down. I wrote it down. If, <laughs> if at the beginning they said that. Hold up. Hey, Mr. Hannes. Or you just get on me because his bad side. No, what are you even talking about? Hey, the town wino. Smell like a tavern. <laughs> if only tears were coming. So they're all drifting. Thirsty work playing sentry. Pinochle only goes so far to chase off the boredom. Little nip now and then keeps us all in our courage for a spell. What if they break through the walls? We'd be sitting ducks on your watch. If they break through the walls, aren't you all sitting ducks anyway? Yeah. Listen, the only thing they've done to the wall in the past hundred years is scratch at it. I have the feeling if they get in their big heads to do something else, we'll be more than ready for them. Been around at least a hundred years. Personally, I take a lot of stock in being called a freeloader. It means things are good. It's how I can measure peace of mind. We could live in a cage. All we do is eat and sleep. I mean, that sounds pretty good to me. Oh, you're a great life, man. Yeah, they don't look happy, buddy. Who's that? I don't know. Sure taking a hit, haven't they? Yeah. The rest of them got eaten. That's what happens when pride takes you outside the walls. Eaten, huh? I wish I had better news. Give it to her. <laughs> His head? 
the fuck is it, like an arm? Dude, I think so. Oh, oh. my god, dude. <laughs> Jesus. Why would you give that to her? That's hmm. fucked up. I guess an arm is better than nothing. Uh, but yeah, wouldn't you have just said, you know, he was eaten? Sorry. Yeah, or like here, here's like a pendant or something of his. Oh. Jesus. How strong is this girl? Spent all day collecting this. Perfect. So, are you still bound and determined to become one of them, the scouts? Yeah, it's like the schematics of the walls yeah, or whatever. Uh, there's like three different. I guess that would, that would make sense, right? You'd build yeah. multiple rings. A patient? Yes, some folks in the interior. I should be back in about a week or so. Mm. Mm. To borrow one of your phrases, I'm getting some Hohenheim vibes from his from the father. Yeah. No son of mine is going to be fodder. Do I make myself absolutely clear? Stop yelling at me! Don't you it's dare! It's a nightmare, Aaron. Yeah, I get it, okay? But it's gotta be better than this life. I'm not stupid. How? It's ugly out there. I know there's death around every corner. Is that a uh, Edward Howard? I can't just give up on it. Is that Vic Mignona? Because otherwise, this nightmare's never gonna end. It does sound like it. He's like just tweaking it a little bit. Yeah, it sounds very similar. We'll have to look it up. Aaron. <laughs> Behave while I'm gone, and I'll let you in on what I've been doing in the cellar. Agreed? Yes, sir. You got it. Yeah, straight up Hohenheim vibes. Cellar? What's he got in the cellar? Have a good trip! Mikasa, the boy needs to be protected from himself. Promise me, whatever happens, I can count on you to have his back. Uh-oh. Mom's gonna die. Or does your philosophy say it's wrong to fight back, too? As a matter of fact, it does. I'd rather take a few lumps than brawl like a beast. Oh, so now I'm a beast? Take a good hard look at yourself and tell me you're not acting like one. You resort to violence because your brain's the size of a walnut. So pummel me all you want. I've already won. Back off! It's Aaron! Okay, looky here! Back for more! You'd think he would have learned his lesson. Give this one to me. Oh crap! She's with him! Run! Just run! Interesting. Yeah. Well, the way she fucking yeah, threw him earlier. That's all it takes. One look. I'm just that scary. Well, one of you is. Why's it gotta be this way? Why can't people just let us dream? The walls are a powerful idea. We've survived for a hundred years because of them. No one's keen on tempting fate. I may not agree with that sentiment, but I can see where they're coming from. Your folks know about the scouts? Basically. And they're not too pleased. Uh-oh. The wind completely stopped. Oh. Why was there a huge blast of lightning? Yeah. You're gonna be able to lift it, guys. Oh no! You've got to get out of here, Aaron. Just take me and run now. I want to more than anything. Honest. Take the children and get them out of here. Come on, Carla. That's not our only option. Then fancy, just take it down. Get all three of them out of harm's way. Make good on the debt you owe. <gasps> oh my god, that's creepy as fuck. I love you! You hear me? Stay alive!
knew. Home was a pen. Humanity. Cattle. Attack on Titan, episode one in the books. Uh, what'd you think? <laughs> oh, that's fun. That's cute. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Yeah, so, what the fuck? <laughs> I think, I mean, like, obviously we knew the mother was going to die. Yeah, as soon as she said take care of him. Yeah. yeah. Still fucked up to show Dude, the I didn't Titan. think she was going to do, that was going to happen. Yeah. Just, I was, like, swallow whole. Yeah, not. Not crush her crush, first. Like, break her and then bite down on her so blood gushes out. Like a gusher. <sighs> Titans are freaky. I don't like them. Yeah, the Titans are fucking... They're like, it's because they're like muscle and they're not like skin. Yeah, they're like skinless. But yeah. like, the muscle and the sinew is still there. And they have and like they have a the million fucking... teeth. It's like... And then like the facial expressions and shit. Yeah. Uh, it's well, it's, creepy. it's like they're giant children. They're yeah, like, it's creepy. They're just like playful like... Hee -hee. <sighs> Jesus Christ. To me, the more fucked up one was the, the rock... That crush the kid, and then later, as Aaron and uh, Mikasa. Mikasa, whatever, running through the streets, they pass by the mother crying next to the fucking to blood them. spot on the rock. Uh, that's uh, fucked up yeah. on a lot of different levels. Yeah. Um, okay, let's let's go back. Let's break it down. We got Aaron Jaeger. Aaron Jaeger, who is apparently going to be our main character. Yeah. Uh, his father. Dr. Jaeger. Dr. Jaeger. Is. Who left. Who went out of left town. Left and went to the interior. So, like, they must be on the outer ring. And then he was going further in. Is that what he said? He That's was what he said. Interior? He was going to the interior. Okay. So, there's, like, three different, and I'm assuming whatever seat of government or whatever they have, like, the most important people are in that center ring. Probably. Right? So, but before he left... He threw us a little tease. Yeah, teased us. He little. told us that there's something going on in his cellar. Not anymore. Well, the cellar might still be there. Well, it's underground. Well, yeah, it's underground. I'm just saying. Sure. But it's locked. It's locked. And now Is there a, a door there? Is that door still <laughs> standing? Uh, probably not. <laughs> Maybe it's a door going down. Not like we think with stairs. Maybe it's like a trap door. Yeah, 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 like those outside cellars, like the yeah, you could have that, like the big storm or even hatches. just like inside, there can be doors, a door that you open up. True. So then, if it's flattened, it's still there. They just gotta move all the rubble. Because they showed us the key, and I gotta imagine that's gonna come back into play sometime. That's gotta come back into play. Yeah. His father's gotta come back into play. Oh, that, for sure. Obviously, now the mother's dead. Yeah, the mother is uh, is definitely dead. And then something about the whoever that garrison guy was that picked them up. Yes. We got their little drunk confrontation at the beginning there between him and Aaron. Yes. But he said something about making good on a on a promise or making good on an oath um, or something. Yeah, something. Is he just talking about the good. oath that they take? Maybe. Or maybe. Or maybe it was a promise he made to Aaron's maybe, mother or something. To her? Or the father. Or the father. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But maybe there's, was, some, there's something was, there. There's a relationship there between Aaron yeah, and him. Yeah. I, I agree there is for sure. We've also got Armin. Armin, yeah. The who blonde seems, with the page boy haircut. Yeah. <laughs> he seems like a... Th maybe this is our trio of friends here. That's what it seems like. But he's definitely a big old Debbie Downer. I wrote bleakest boy in the world. Yeah. And that was before he said... Before the Titans showed up. Before they showed up. <laughs> and before he literally said, this is it. This is the end. We're all dead. <laughs> and it was like, dude. <laughs> yeah. So now we know where Aaron's voiceover is coming from. That yeah. mentality of like, we're all just a bunch of fucking cattle. True. Like, probably Armin. Well, okay, so, I mean, I, I mean, obviously I don't. Here's what I don't get. I guess, yes, as a, it looks like he's a teen or a preteen. Yeah. Like a tween. Probably a pre. As far as anime goes, it's usually like, like we, 11 we're usually, or 12 maybe? yeah, introduced like a middle school kid. Yeah. And then there's usually like a bit of a time jump and they're like in high school <laughs> or like young 20. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so let's say he's like 11 or 12. Yeah. But that's what these guys are. If it's been 100 years since the last time they really had a attack or anything that 
necessitated that wall. Yeah. That's like two, three generations. Right? Yeah. So for him to be like, you know, I guess I just don't understand. Yes, it's one thing to say, yeah, we haven't had any issue here, so all we are is just sitting around doing nothing all day. This is not an existence. This is, you know. But they see the scout regiments go out and come back in mostly dead. Yeah. So Numbers, numbers depleted. The people who remain scared out of their fucking gourds. Yeah. Like, they look like... How can you think anything out there is preferable to <laughs> <Yeah>. this? <laughs> Yeah. Even if you think this is the most banal, ridiculous but, existence. Well, because, I mean, yeah, because he's a kid. He doesn't understand that, like, yeah. it's survival. Like, at this yeah, point, yeah, yeah. it's not about us having, like, a fantastic life. A it's about us. fulfilling life. It's just surviving. Yeah, just living. Yeah. And now but, he'll get his true taste. And the garrison, they're like, hey, like, the days that, like, we're, we're drinking, joking, having fun, whatever, he's like, I, I consider those a blessing. Because yeah, because we can. It means that there's peace. It means that nothing happened. Yeah. So Aaron wants to be on the scout regiment. Yep. He wants to go out beyond the wall and see what's out there, I guess. And he apparently to... his father knows what's out there. So that's, I guess that's what's weird. It's like he wants to be a scout just so that he can go explore the world? Is that what I don't the... know. I don't know if it's that or if he just wants to determine if it's viable to live out there but yeah though i guess the yeah, the other question always comes back to like why like what yeah. as a child what do you know of the outside world like he knows what, nothing he only knows what he's been told yeah and i guess that's why he's talked about like why can't they let us dream yeah, or whatever saying. so well now we know he's going to join the scouts for a different reason oh well for sure yeah he's got the motivation now straight up revenge of course yeah of course Huh. Uh, I had an interesting, so I wrote down Blast of Lightning, then the Titan shows yeah, up. Yeah, that's weird. And he looked like he was smoking. Yeah, he was. The big one. He definitely had smoke coming out, but none of the others did. So they drop from heaven? Do they? I don't know. I have no the, idea. The lightning is something. Yeah, it's got to be something. Because everybody was like, what the hell was that? And, you know, and then it's yeah. like he's there smoking. Yeah. Yeah. Um, unless, okay. unless what they're saying is that he was so big that there was already like a storm kind of brewing, right. and then because he's so big, lightning struck the tallest thing, and that was like basically was the him. signal. I don't know. And like at least people were like alerted to the fact that something weird was going on. Maybe. Maybe. I uh, maybe. It looked like the lightning struck the fucking yeah, it ground. Hit the ground. And then like something. Yeah. And then he like grew. Huh. And I then it looked know. like he shrank. Yeah, after he like need the door and like need yeah, the wall. Yeah, unless open. he was just like ducking down to like crawl maybe. through the hole, maybe. That'd be interesting. Oof. I don't know. I don't know. I forget that look. I don't know. That would be very big, freaky. Big mother, big motherfucker that would be very freaky. The hole. Um, okay, let's talk about uh, Mikasa. Yeah. Um, at first, I thought maybe she was a sister, but I don't think that anymore. No. Yeah, friend. Uh, friend, but apparently lives with them. So maybe her, maybe parents, her parents were killed by were her? killed, but they wouldn't have been killed by maybe Titan. They were, maybe they were maybe scouts they were or yeah, regiment yeah, or garrison or whatever. Yeah, that's true. Definitely the strongest of the three of the kids. Yeah, she seems to be very well versed in fighting mm -hmm. because those bullies were scared. And they weren't scared just like a, oh, she's super strong scared. They were scared in an, oh my God, she completely whipped our asses scared. Yeah. And then we saw her strength when she like threw him against the fucking wall. Yeah. So. But she's against joining the scouts, but she's probably the type to follow Aaron wherever he goes. Well, yeah, she made a promise to protect him. So now she's got to go wherever he goes. And yeah, so I think she'll go with him and she'll prove to be a badass fighter. And there's got to be a reason why. I just know it. There's yeah. going to be something. Maybe, I don't know. I'm not going to speculate yet. It's only been one episode. Yeah. But. Yeah, we tend to go out of control for just from true. one episode. That's true. <laughs> we try to speculate. We're going to rein it in a little bit. Now, I did find it interesting that Armin basically said he's a pacifist. Yeah. When those kids were like about to beat him up. 
Yeah. So is is Armin going to refuse to fight? I mean, if we know anime, yeah, like we I, think we do. I don't, but okay. Aaron and, and Mikasa, Mikasa, whatever, yeah. however you want to say it, they're definitely going to join the Scouts Regiment cause, yes. a, because of Aaron. Yes. Armin is going to get roped in as well. Yeah. So it's going to be the three of them. Yeah, but yeah. Armin's going to be uh, very much a... Whatchamacallit? Uh, 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 what's the movie? Where he doesn't want to fire a gun. <laughs> he joins the army. Oh, the the one with uh, Garfield? Yeah, with Andrew Garfield. Um, damn it, damn it. Hacksaw Ridge. Yeah, Hacksaw Ridge. So Armin's going to be like that, I feel like. Where he's going to be the one that causes problems within the regiment because he doesn't want to be... Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. He doesn't want to really be there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But at the same time, he has like, nowhere else to go. He has nowhere else to go. Yeah. That's yeah. how I feel. Because okay. yeah. we know that three of them got to stick together. Yeah, probably. Although Ooh. you never know. What if they get split up? Unless they get split up and they meet later on in life and Armin's like still a, a big old coward. Yeah. What if he's part of, uh, what if he gets roped into the garrison? Yeah. Good. Maybe. What if he becomes a titan? <laughs> what if any of them become a titan? <laughs> that's, that's my philosophy. How, well, what are the titans? I don't know. And they don't explain it yet. I don't think they know. They just like it. Just they yeah, just that's showed what I'm up. Saying. I think they just showed up one day, and you know. I speculate they come from heaven. I think they're fallen angels. They're angels, <laughs> and the lightning is how they travel down to Earth. They ride down it like a, like a fire pole. Like, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, that's an interesting theory. That's my theory. We'll see if that pans out. I think Zeus sends the Titans down, because Titans are a Greek. Yeah, Titans are part of Greek mythology. Yeah. So I think Zeus sends them down on, on lightning bolts. Okay, so we know what the Titan, or we don't know what they are, but we've seen the Titans, and they're huge, yeah. and they have no skin. What are the other things? I think they're all Titans. I think they're just like... There's just different levels of Titans? Some are bigger than others, or some grow and shrink? I don't know. Some have skin and some don't? Yeah. Yeah, that's weird. Maybe... And so for a hundred years, those little ones have just been like hanging around the wall, just like bumping into yeah, it, they come scratching in they on it, peeking, they... knocking. Yeah. The garrison just goes, hey, shoo. And then they like run away. And then all of a sudden. Then this big motherfucker shows up. Yeah. Kicks the wall in. I mean, so now at this point, you got to fall back, right? Oh, there's no hope. Everybody like, in that ring's just got to move into the inner Yeah, you're done. Thing. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Unless... Are the walls as you go in taller? I would... I would hope so. Taller and thicker. I would hope so. Yeah. Watch them get shorter and thinner. <laughs> the last one's made of fucking bamboo. <laughs> Uh, we also got to look at their cool, uh, their cool gadget, their oh, omnidirectional. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The omnidirectional. What's it called? Something. Damn it! I didn't write it down. Omnidirectional. I don't know. It, it lets them fly system. around like Spider-Man. Yeah, they they do. It's like cool. shoots out, propels them. Yeah. Retracts, shoots out. Very interesting. Yeah. Uh, I wonder who built those. Uh. Hmm. Have they had those for a hundred years? Yeah, I don't know. How long has the scout regiment yeah, been exactly. in place? Or exactly. Hmm. Has have they ever found anything out there? And are we implying? Are we implying right now that the title of this episode means that someone is telling this story to someone else two thousand years in the future? Because it says to you in two thousand years, years the fall of this city. So it's like they're telling the story to yeah. someone two thousand years from now. Yeah, maybe this is the, like, chronicling of the events that happened mm. that will eventually... So we are the ones that they're, we, that they're this writing. This happened 2,000 years ago. Okay, so it happened in 12, or in 21, excuse me. It happened in Jesus. the year 21. Apparently, I think it's the year 2012. <laughs> Where have I been? It happened in the year 21. Yes, and we now, in the year 2021, are, are being told it. the story. Okay, okay, that makes sense. So, okay. And uh, we get to find out exactly what happened. But it does say the fall, so you got to assume that whole thing is done. It's done, yeah. It's done. 
I mean, once they're in the wall, there's nothing you can do. What are you going to do? Because even if the scouts take them, take out those ones that are inside. I mean, like there's a bunch on the outside of the wall. Like you'd have to get that wall repaired so fucking yeah, quickly. Yeah, exactly. There's no way. There's no way. It's but not going to happen. It would take them at least a day to patch the, the yeah. wall. Yeah, at yeah. least. At least. Yeah. Mm. These people are fucked. Yeah. Uh, I guess I'm. I guess I was wrong. Armin's right. Yeah. <laughs> they're all dead. Yeah. <laughs> there's no hope. Uh. Okay, anything else you want to say about this, which thus far, I have to say, is the most depressing anime I've ever seen, and it's one episode in. Hmm. Most depressing anime I've ever seen is Anohana, so. Okay, I don't know what that is, so. I'll have to look it up and see if maybe I can we'll watch it. Maybe depressing. we'll watch it for this. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe we'll do a reaction maybe. to it. Okay. Uh, no, we're not going to do that. <laughs> People would probably like that, but to see two grown men cry? If you wanna if you wanna see that, let us know in the comments. Hey, if you wanna see two bears cry, then yeah, let us know. We'll that's watch right. Anahana. Exactly. Um Yeah, that's all I have for Attack on Titan. Okay. Uh, so that's it for episode one, season one, Attack on Titan. Um, as always, subscribe, ding that bell, uh, like our videos, comment, let us know if there's anything else you want us to watch or react to, um, and tweet at us at Blake and Jeff. Yep. And uh, we'll see you next time. See you. Bye.